also just a tad cooler than where we were just 24 hours ago. You can see uh, at Hinesville and also Midway, six degrees cooler at both of those places uh, just 24 hours ago at this time. But overall, not too bad. It could be a lot worse uh, for this time of year. And as we look ahead into tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock Monday, temperatures will be in the 40s. Yes, I said it, 40s. How about 45 at Hampton, 47 at Statesboro and Springfield, uh, 49, uh, 48, 49 degrees, somewhere there uh, for Savannah. And then 55 down towards Darien, 51 towards Blackshear. We'll see those numbers throughout the morning <clears throat> rapidly rise into the 70s, middle 70s, and the coastline won't be so lucky. You'll be staying into the 60s. Now look at this beautiful Storm Tracker satellite radar view. You can see up and down I-95 from Savannah through Raleigh up towards New York. Quiet, dry conditions, and the dry weather extends all the way back to Chicago and Memphis this evening. Now why is that? Well, our friend High Pressure is going to give us a clear night and give us a sunny and dry day as we go into Monday. Snow and rain, that's going to be staying up in Maine, well away from the area, and that's all right with us. Okay, here is your seven-day forecast. Take a look, and this is what we look like. Uh, 76, the coolest day will be tomorrow. Again, we'll see temperatures gradually rising through the 80s as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And look at this, Friday getting up to about 89 degrees. As a matter of fact, Friday is going to be so warm that we may even have a couple of 90s here. Now the humidity, there's the catch here, the humidity is going to rise a little bit as we get towards the middle and tail of the week. So it's going to feel a little bit more like the Deep South. But needless to say, we're going to see that warm up. And I know some of you talking to you on Facebook Lives each and every weekend, you're really right, waiting for that warm up to take place. Now, as far as showers are concerned, I put a 20% chance in there, kind of like a silent 20% chance of precipitation in for Sunday. Not 100% sold on it yet, but we are looking into that prospect of seeing uh, a cold front, which is weak, move through the area and bring us an opportunity of seeing some showers at that time. But until that time, we're going to see some nice, nice weather. All right.